I'm Amy Kelly and I'm broadcasting here with Mindy and Harvest Lane Honey. We've got the wonderful opportunity to find out more about honey and the benefits of not just honey for internal, but how about external? Mindy, tell me a little bit about what you've discovered as far as the beauty secrets of honey. Well, I've heard that honey is really great for cold source and people who feel them coming on, they put it on their lips or wherever they feel it, that it, that it goes away. But I've also found that it really helps with hay fever. I've suffered terribly for the last six years, but you've got to have the local raw honey. That's the key, local and raw. Local and raw. People, there's a lot of people out there and even people locally here in Salt Lake that will sell it as local honey and fresh honey. And you'll hear words like pure honey. But I have a very good example of what pure honey looks like and what raw honey is supposed to look like. Can you show me that now? I'll show you. Let me grab that. All right, let's look at that. Because, you know, I've heard a lot about the fact that the honey that we're seeing in the store on the store shelves is mainly corn syrup. Is that true? I would agree because this one, I'll cover the name up and it says pure honey here. And if you notice, there's all this hard stuff down at the bottom. But all that liquid, that's corn syrup. And they get away with, you'll see the ingredient is just honey. You know, and it blows my mind. The other thing I've noticed on a lot of these, I don't know if this one says it, it'll say it's a collection of honeys from different co countries even, yes. not even just one local. Yes. It's a variety mixed together. I actually bought this one out of a farmer's market in California. We'd stopped at a fruit stand to get uh -huh. local fruits and vegetables and stuff, and that was what we got for local honey. And you thought it was local? And we thought it was local. Oh my and gosh. And we got into it and it was definitely not local honey. Oh my goodness. No. Well, that's a deception. So this is local honey. This is raw honey. Okay. And this is what raw honey should look like. So it's almost, it's kind of crystallized and thicker? Yes. Once it gets aged a little bit, it will crystallize and thicken. And a lot of people think, well, it's gone bad because it's crystallized and it's thickened. But it hasn't. The beauty about honey is that honey lasts forever. It's one of the few items that never goes bad. So the shelf life is indefinite. Indefinite. So I noticed behind us you've got other things like lip gloss or lipstick that yes. you make as well? Yes, I make this and this is like a Burt's Bees lip balm. And it's very moisturizing, it's very manly too. Because a lot of men out there, they want moisturized lips, they get uh -huh. cracked and chapped. So this is a very unisex, universal lip balm. And it's very, I have a sister who's got really bad like eczema and just really dry skin and chapped lips and she just loves it. So it's, it's really great stuff, it's very, uh, you know, it's colorless and it's just, it's got a great taste to it with the honey flavoring in it. Well, and honey flavoring, awesome. I'm going to have to have some of that yes. because I've got a son that's incredibly allergic to different things and so I've got to be really careful. So that would make a great, now I know we're getting into Christmas season, really we are. It's oh, never yeah. too early to think about it. So great stocking stuffer. Oh yeah, perfect stocking stuffer. That and the soaps. We also do soaps. Now these are just cold pressed, like melt and pour soaps, but the difference with these kinds of soaps is that um, we do a nice goat's milk soap and we also do a nice um, glycerin-based soap. And so they're very gentle because they don't have the lye base in it to make it the hardeners and it dries your skin out and those kind of so things. So could this be used as a facial soap? Yes, it could be used as a facial soap. I, in fact, I, when I start making them until I run out, I'll keep them in my, in my own bathtub to, to bathe with because I, I love them. I love the way they make skin fill and just everything else. Well, you've got great skin, so it must be working. So how can people go about getting some of your products? Where are they sold? Uh, right now they're sold at Copy Cottage in Stansbury Park okay. and then also the Benson Grist Mill in Tula County. We provide it at their country store. Oh, wow. And then we do have limited stock that we carry at the different falls festivals. We go to the Pumpkin Walk and the fairs. Um, we're talking about doing the Utah State Fair this year. So it just those places for right now. Oh, Hope wonderful. More. So definitely be on the lookout for the Harvest Lane Honey sign because you're going to want the local good stuff. Yes. And we are coming into the flu and cold season. Yes. I understand you can actually make some fantastic cold remedies with honey. Yeah. When my kids start getting sore throats, my kids suffered miserably from strep throat for years. And so what I would do and to help them soothe their throat is I would say, okay, go get a teaspoon of honey and just eat it and it coats your throat and it does make it feel better. There is something to it. And like I said, definitely with the hay fever, the local honey for hay fever, I'm a true believer in it. I haven't had any hay fever since we got into beekeeping six years ago. My gosh, and we get a lot of it out here in Tooele, folks. You know it's true. Yes, we do. In fact, my poor husband from California, he moves out here and he's like, I don't know why my eyes are burning. Oh. <laughs> so was this your idea to get into the, the beekeeping? No. This was my husband's idea. And it was kind of odd because he says, you know, I want to get into beekeeping. And I thought that was odd since he's allergic to bees. <laughs> So he got into it and then it just became a great a great hobby that we've really enjoyed for our children. 
Wonderful. Well, folks, I don't think there's anything compared to local raw, keyword raw honey. I love it myself. So we talked about how it crystallizes. How do you use it once it has done that? Well, there's a couple of different things. If you cook with it, for instance, this is a great form to use it because it's in a jar, you can squeeze it out, or if it's in a five-gallon five pail, you can scoop it out, and you can use it cup for cup like sugar. And it's a better sugar because it's got the protein in it. Honey has a natural protein. And so, but when it gets like this, so say you want it in your coffee or your tea, or you just want to eat it on a piece of toast and not have it crystallized. I put it in a bath of hot water so that you keep the temperature low. If you put it in the microwave, it tends to destroy the natural organisms in it. It doesn't destroy the flavor. But the enzymes are what make it the, the more sought after because it's raw. Yes, exactly. So if you were putting this in coffee and tea, I would say just squeeze out the, the crystallized stuff into it and it's going, to crisp, or it's going to be liquid as soon as it hits that hot water. Great. Well, definitely one of my favorite things is a cup of rose hip tea with a little honey and lemon. Oh my oh, gosh. Yeah. So what does something like this run? Right now we sell this for $3 a bottle and then we sell our larger ones for five. And then we also carry five pounds for $20. Oh, that's a wonderful deal. And we're keeping the local economy going. I think that's one thing I want to really stress for people who are watching us today. Local is the way to go. We need to support our local economy and especially having the option for local sweeteners that are good for you. Well, yeah, and you know, we've come so far away from the natural stuff in our foods. And before I kind of thought, well, that's kind of a far out there thought for myself. But once I started realizing what they could do with pure honey and call it pure honey, what else was going in my body? So I, we become more health conscious after getting into this and realizing that we really do see the benefits of things that are natural and that are from our local areas. So local fruits and local vegetables are all really good things. Well, I think buying local is the key. And with the slow food movement really taking a hold and people really becoming more aware, it's a wonderful thing that you're here. I'm so glad you are. Mm -hmm. Well, this has been lovely. Thank you so much, Mindy, for educating us on your wonderful beekeeping business. I wish you much success. And don't forget, folks, Harvest Lane Honey, that's where you want to get your stuff, Copy Cottage. They've got it down there in Stansbury. Thanks for watching Tooele TV.